So tonight I have some lovely wooden rounds that I'm going to be painting on. Um, they're nice uh, reddish wood here in Costa Rica. It's called Cedro, which is like a tropical cedar wood. I have uh, used some painter's tape to tape off the sides um, and a little bit on, on the um, back side also uh, to kind of try and control the drips. Um, and then I'm going to paint on this surface. I have gessoed this and then sanded it lightly so that it, um, uh, the wood doesn't soak up the moisture from the paints too quickly um, because that could end up cracking. Um, so I've got two of them um, and I've got um, several luscious colors to show you. So Amsterdam Titanium White and Amsterdam's uh, Permanent Blue Violet. Uh, this is a mix of Liquitex Basics mm, Deep Violet, uh, Amsterdam Titanium White, and Joe Sonia's Pale Gold. Beautiful color. Um, I really love that. Uh, this is a mix of DecoArt uh, Extreme Sheen Sterling Silver and a new paint that I've never used before called Chroma Molten Metals. Um, the sterling silver is very, very pale, um, and I wanted to deepen that tone a bit, so I added a little bit of this in there just to uh, make it more of a gray color, um, but it is still a metallic, so hopefully that mix will give us some cells. Um, this is a mix of um, um, Golden's heavy, heavy Body Thalo Turquoise, a little bit of Titanium White, um, Amsterdam's um, Yellowish, or I'm sorry, greenish or turquoise green there we go amsterdam turquoise green and a little bit of gold and this one is amsterdam's turquoise green and uh yes i will use that color to show you the consistency nice thick paint leaves a mound on a mound on a mound so I'm going to be using these paints tonight to make a straight pour. These uh, wooden rounds are 13 inches, which means that I need about six ounces of paint and these little cups hold seven ounces. So uh, I will pour uh, them all the way to the top. It gives me a little extra uh, room. And on this first one, I'm gonna use this color as my base coat color. Put a little bit of that in the center and then pour into it. Um, the reason we do that is um, I want this to cover the surface, not the colors that I pour onto the paint. Let's just spin that out a little bit. Maybe a little more. Okay, so let's layer a cup. So this is should be my last color. So I'm going to start with a little bit of the turquoise green, just a little bit. Go directly into the darker turquoise. And on top of that, I want a little bit of silver. sections this time. Lighter turquoise green, darker turquoise on top of it. Silver on top of that. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing I forgot the white. Oh my gosh. I didn't use white. 
light at all. Hmm. Do I use it now? Maybe I need it now. A little bit better. I'm going to fill the rest with this. Nice. So there's our cut. And we're going to pour right straight into the center. So zoom in. Totally meant to put some white in that. Ah, that's frustrating. I didn't want to do that. Ooh, that's gonna be nice though. I'm not mad. That's actually going to be beautiful when I spin that out. I'm probably gonna lose almost all of that off of the edges, but that's okay. So let's get rid of those paints. Get those out of the way. see inside that cup. Look at that. I love these colors. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to torch until after I've spun this. If I torch this now, I do see some air bubbles. Anytime that you move paint, you create air bubbles. But if I pop it now, um, it'll bring up little cells of color and as I stretch it, those will get bigger. If I pop them at the end, they don't get any bigger, so they stay small. So I think that's the better choice this time. I'm gonna stretch this out a little more that way. Bring my center back, there we go. Okay. Oof. Look at that, wow. I'll bring that center back a little more center before I spin anymore. We're going to lose most of this outside edge. I have a feeling. side edge and then we'll stop. Ooh, really close. So I want to tilt that down just a little bit. I want to keep this purple over here. So I'm going to move the weight of the paint to that direction spin again. Ooh, nice. Okay, maybe one little spin. Not a lot. There we go. Now we're going to tilt again.
Oh, I can touch the side. I keep forgetting I can touch the sides because I've got those taped off anyway. Ah, oh, that helps. I just want to get rid of this turquoise bit right there. So it's by like all the way across that section. Yes, there we go. And then we'll tilt it right back the other direction. And get that centered again. Oof, wow, that is pretty. Yep. There we go, that's a keeper. So here
here's the overhead view of the wet results. As a pair, man, I think these are fantastic together. I love that they're the same colors, but in different patterns. Um, uh, between the two, if I had to choose the, between the two, I think I like the way this composition came out a little better. Um, even though there are some elements to this that I like uh, just as well. Um, I think the difference though is the center on this is just a little odd for me. Um, but I think the center over here is cleaner. Um, I also like that it, it gave me a bit of a, like a cresting wave curl to it. Um, and the feathering that came out on this <clears throat> is spectacular. The way the, you know, the colors layered there and stretched out, so pretty. Yeah, I just, I can't imagine a better color combination than this. This is beautiful. Wow. That silver did a great job um, acting almost like the white normally would. Um, and that's a good thing too, because I didn't use any white <laughs> on this one until the very end. Whereas on this one, uh, there is a nice light streak coming up through the center here that is beautiful. And the way that it uh, layers with the um, blue violet is oh so much depth and beauty I love that and that feathering there is really nice too almost more like fingerlings on this one um, those lines wow purple and turquoise and violet wow so pretty So oh, there we go. Which one do you like better? The one, let's see. This is the first one that I poured. This is the second one that I poured. I think they're both beautiful um, and they both have their charm. Anyway, if you liked it, uh, please give me a thumbs up for this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more and come back and see me sometime.